Assalamu alaikum doctors. Let's talk about the laboratory evaluation of liver diseases. So uh, there are certain enzymes which are, which are so important for the diagnosing of liver diseases. Date enzymes are ALT, AST, ALP, GGT, amylase and lipase. Now actually what is ALT? Actually ALT stands for alanine transaminases where AST stands for aspartate transaminases. Now ALT is also called LGBT and AST is also called SGOT. ALT stands for alanine transaminases that is also called serum glutamate pyruvate transaminases while AST stands for aspartate amino transferases that is also called serum glutamic oxaloacetic transaminases it is already mentioned in the book now and nowadays we mostly uses the term ALT instead of LGBT in a similar fashion we use the term AST instead of LGOT now whenever liver cells whenever whenever liver cells that is hepatocytes get injured it will predicted that ALT and AST get raised so whenever the hepatocytes get injured in the liver so it will imply it will imp uh, it will predicted that ALT and AST value get raised from the normal value. These are the normal values. Now, that is ALP stand for alkaline phosphatase and GGT stand for the gamma glutamyl transpeptidase. Now, this alkaline phosphatase and GGT, whenever there is biliary system problem, So, in that condition, the ALP and GGT, its values increases from the normal. So, whenever there is biliary system problem in that condition, the ALP and GGT value get increases from the normal range. Now, amylase and lipase. Amylase and lipase value get increases from the normal value whenever there is problem in pancreas. So whenever pancreas get injured in that condition, amylase and lipase get increases from the normal value. Amylase is more sensitive and lipase is more specific. Now, let's talk about a uh, detail about the ALT and AST and rest of the enzymes. Now, ALT stands for alanine transaminases, while AST stands for aspartate amino transferases. Whenever the hepatocytes get injured in that condition, the ALT and AST value increases from the normal. Now, ALT. in AST. So that is alanine transaminases, that is aspartate transaminases. Now the ALT it is present in the cytosol of hepatocytes. So this enzyme it is present in the cytosol of hepatocytes and it will imply mostly in the viral hepatitis the ALT value almost greater than AST. It is a generally in viral hepatitis the value of ALT it will come more than the value of AST and on other hand AST that is aspartate amino transferase it is present in the mitochondria of the hepatocytes. It is present in the mitochondria of the hepatocytes and mostly 
in alcoholic hepatitis and that condition mostly the value of ast it is usually more as compared to alt okay so in viral hepatitis alt value more than the ast and alcoholic hepatitis the ast value will come more than alt and this alt it is predominantly produced from the liver while ast it is produced from liver as well along with that it can be produced from skeletal muscle it can be produced from the heart from the kidney and from the brain even rbc are able to produce this ast that's the reason that alt it is more specific for liver cell necrosis but in another in another hand if you talk about ast it is not so much specific for the liver cell necrosis so we can say that ast it is more sensitive for the liver cell necrosis so that's the general uh, concept regarding the alt and ast now let's talk about the alp and ggt now if alp that is alkaline phosphatase and ggt that is gamma glutamyl transpeptidase now this alp it is present in duct epithelium and canalicular membrane of hepatocytes while this ggt it is produced in various tissues like in liver like in kidney brain etc so whenever there is problem in the biliary system in that condition the alp and ggt value get raised from their normal value now this a this alp must not be confused for, with the acid phosphatase that is alkaline phosphatase so it must not be confused with the acid phosphatase acid phosphatase best work in acidic medium and it is useful to monitor the treatment for the prostatic carcinoma it is also very important to differentiate the br and tr that is br is the b acute lymphoblastic leukemia and t cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia so acid phosphatase will be negative for the br and acid phosphatase will be positive for the tr so this alkaline phosphatase it should not be confused with the acid phosphatase so this alkaline phosphatase it is present in the liver it is present in also in the bone in the sorry in the bone and the brain and the various uh, tissues like in the kidneys as well so that is alkaline phosphatase so whenever the alkaline phosphatase value get raised from the normal value whenever alkaline phosphatase value get raised from the normal value it will imply us that there is cholestatic jaundice we will explain these uh, things after upcoming lectures but till now just remember that whenever the alkaline phosphatase value get increase from the normal value it will show us a cholestatic jaundice now on another hand we have a gamma glutamyl transpeptidase now this is a isoenzyme of this alp gamma glutamyl transpeptidase it is a iso enzyme of alkaline phosphatase now actually what does this means iso enzymes iso enzyme means that whenever you see the structure of the gamma glutamyl transpeptidase it is just similar to the alkaline phosphatase but the main difference is that it is functionally different from alkaline phosphatase so it is the iso enzyme of alka alkaline phosphatase meaning its structure is so similar for alkaline phosphatase but its functional it is so different from the alkaline phosphatase now whenever the whenever the ggt value get increases so it will predicted that there is intrahepatic or extra hepatic obstruction to bile flow so whenever the ggt value get increases from the normal it will imply us is that there is obstruction there is hepatic obstruction to the bile flow but remember if the ggt value get 
increases along with that if lp value get increases it means that there is some pathology occur in biliary system if the alp value and ggd value get increases it will imply us that there is pathology occur in the biliary system now if the ggd value get normal but alp value get increases it will indicate the pathology is not in biliary system but instead of pathology is more in the bone there will be increased osteoclastic activity say if the al whenever alkaline alp increase and ggt also increase it will imply us that there is biliary system problem that is there is biliary system problem but if the ggt value is normal and alp raised so it means that pathology is now in bone it means that there is increased osteoclastic activity okay so uh, that's all about the alp and ggt so uh, in a nutshell i will again repeat it to you that there are six enzyme which is very important for the diagnosing of liver disease so alt stand for the alanine transaminases ast uh, stand for aspartate transaminases whenever there is hepatocyte get injured the alt and ast will get raised from the normal value now uh, ALP and GGT value, its value get raised in the biliary system problem. Whenever there is pathology occur in the brain, so uh, sorry, in the pancreas, so in that condition, the amylase and lipase value get raised from the normal value. We, whenever the ALT and AST value get raised, it means there is pathology occur in the liver. But if the LT is normal and ST get raised, it means pathology is not in liver. Now pathology is lies other than in liver. So as LT is more specific and ST uh, and LT is more specific, while ST is more sensitive. Now on the other hand, we have alkaline phosphatase and GGT, and the biliary system problem it get their values get raised. And alkaline phosphatase, if LP value get raised, it will show us cholestatic jaundice. If GGT value get raised from the normal, it will indicate us that there is hepatic obstruction occur to the bile flow. And if the GGT value get normal and LP get value get raised, it will imply the pathology is more in the, it more lies in the bone. And the normal, all the normal lab values for the ALT and ST there, there is mentioned in the book as well. So hopefully you are getting the lecture. Thank you so much.